I first knew I was gay in P7 and I first came out to my mum um, in the first year of secondary school. I'd always just grown up being kind of different. Um, I hadn't really noticed that there was a name for it or that it was a specific thing until I was probably in secondary school. Um, and the first person I ever told that I was gay was my cousin. Um, we were really close as friends anyway, and he was the first person that I told. I think I first realised that I was gay when I was roughly 13 years old, but I didn't tell anyone for a couple of years because I didn't think they'd accept me for, well, being gay, obviously. Um, and I came out to my friends and family that didn't already know only a few months back because I felt that they had to know and I couldn't keep hiding things from them. I first knew that I liked girls when my brother, um, he sat me down and explained to me that sometimes girls like girls and sometimes guys like guys and that I realised that was exactly what had been going on. I was really apprehensive about coming out to my mum and to my mum's side of the family. Um, they're all quite religious. I was an altar server whenever I was younger at church. My brother played the organ at the church. Um, so I was really nervous about telling them. But whenever I told them, they were all just really supportive and loving. It wasn't a matter of their religion, it was a matter of that I was their family, so it didn't matter. But I didn't really tell anybody about it. Not really. Like, I just, I had a girlfriend and people knew that. and. I didn't really have much of a coming out. It just kind of happened. It was more shock, um, disbelief. Um, she wasn't really expecting it. My mum knows that I've had girlfriends, but she still thinks that I'm going to settle down with a bloke. My stepmom, on the other hand, I was really worried about telling her um, because she's really, really Catholic. But I told her and she just kind of hugged me and it was fine, so it was really good. I told one of my friends and she spread rumours around the school. Um, I was badly bullied in my classes and I was also sexually harassed. At school, um, things were a bit different because obviously people were treating you differently because of coming out. Um, and teachers didn't really do anything when you reported it to them. I think that's changed a bit now, but not as much as it should have done. I told my guidance teacher, but she wouldn't do anything about it because some of it happened outside of school as well. So that wasn't part of the... That isn't what the school wanted to deal with. Um, I eventually told my year head and he sorted it out and he made sure that I got moved in most of my classes. I think that the most important thing that people can do in a school is to listen to them, even if they don't, if even, even if they can't change anything, it can make somebody feel so much better if they've just got somebody to talk to. When I was labelled as homo or lesbo, it sort of knocked your sort of confidence and you felt really overpowered and it just was a horrible low feeling when you went home from school. When I hear people saying that's so gay, I I don't know, I just real I don't like it. I will correct somebody if I hear them saying it. I actually used to use the term that's so gay among my friends usually just um we all had that as a kind of colloquialism but since going to the group and finding out how it makes other people feel, I realise that it's probably not the best way to speak and that it has an impact on people even if you don't yourself realise it. Hear it quite a lot, like, oh, that's okay that you're doing this, and those shoes are just, oh, no, I don't like them, they're so gay, and that sort of thing. Um, it's quite a regular thing to hear, um, but you just sort of get on with it, and you keep your head down, and you don't say anything to them. Whenever I was at school, I was already bullied anyway, so I wasn't even out. I didn't think it was worthwhile having something else to add to the last, but... I think I would have found it easier to come out if there had been more discussion about it, particularly going to a Catholic school as well. It was hard enough even at sex education to get that, let alone anything to do with 
homosexual relationships or transgenders or anything like that. There was just no awareness about it at all. Have more support in place, make them feel more comfortable and that they're more secure and that they're not just alone in this huge, big education system. Um, and when, even if they do get discriminated, it's sorted out quickly. Saying they're just, they don't feel alone, basically. I think even just speaking about it and letting people know that it is a thing and that it is okay would be so much, it would make it so much better at school. I went on websites like LGBT of Scotland, um, Stonewall, and I found about the It Gets Better project. Um, and those videos really, really helped me to get to improve my self esteem. Um, also, I found out about the LGBT youth groups and started going along to them. And it was a really, really good place to talk openly about your feelings. I've really enjoyed starting to go into the youth groups in Kilmarnock and Glasgow, so there is plenty of them. And there's lots of people like myself, which really makes it easier and it gives you someone to talk to. Go, going to the group and making this DVD. One of the things that's made me happier about who I am, with regards to my sexuality, was being in a relationship. And the fact that you're in a relationship just the same as your friends, it's just that the person you're in a relationship with is the same gender as you. Um, also being part of the youth forum has been helpful. For schools to make it better for LGBT people, they really need to crunch down on the people that are committing homophobic bullying or any form of assault. Because what they're doing just now really isn't enough to stop them. They need to realise that it is a really horrible thing. I think just more awareness of the issues that LGBT people face on a day-to-day -day basis in, in this current society. We've already witnessed changes in the last few years in LGBT equality, but there is still room for improvement. More support. Wider acceptance. Be inclusive. More training for staff. More information. Challenge homophobia.